Welcome to Oakville, where you'll find luxury mansions nestled within tree-lined streets, beautiful waterfront villages with high-end shopping, close to yacht-filled marinas, and neighborhoods with stately homes surrounding one of the most famous golf courses in all of Canada. Oakville is one of the most expensive suburbs to live in, but is also home to pockets of areas that are more wallet-friendly and offer activities and amenities for the whole family. So, no matter your budget, your lifestyle, if you're looking to move to Oakville, there is a neighborhood for you. Stay tuned to find out the most popular areas that people are moving to. These are your top five neighborhoods in Oakville, Ontario to live in. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Toronto and the surrounding areas like right here in Oakville, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so that you know everything you need to know before making that move to Toronto. My name is Rochelle. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Oakville and the surrounding greater Toronto area. For the last seven years, I've been helping people just like you and you and you and you and you, and you <laughs> make the move to Toronto and I love it. So if you're looking to make a move, just give me a shout. All of my contact is down in the description below and I'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Toronto. But for now, let's get right into it. Oakville is a town full of safe and beautiful neighborhoods, each with its own personality and architectural style. So come with me, hop in my car. I wanna show you the first area on our top five list, which is the neighborhood of West Oak Trails. West Oak Trails is a younger neighborhood that is known for being very family friendly. It has a very suburban feel with winding streets and dead end roads. You've got a lot of reputable schools here too. So high ranking elementary and high schools, um, as well as preschools, private schools, and even French immersion. There are also plenty of parks and a bunch of wooded trails where there's everywhere to go for a walk or a bike with a family. So Lions uh, Valley Park, for example, that's a really nice park that has very beautiful scenic views and a bunch of trails that are really well maintained. And the trails actually stretch along 16 Mile Creek, which is a long river or creek that actually crosses through the town of Milton, which is the town just next door to Oakville. So 16 Mile Creek, it goes right through the middle of this neighborhood. So even though you're in the middle of all of this residential space, the park is so serene that it actually feels like you're all the way out in the country. And then Fox Creek Mall, that's also close by too. That's in um, indoor shopping plaza, that is, or sorry, outdoor, but it's anchored by Freshco grocery store as well as a bunch of other shops and restaurants. So this neighborhood is great for people on the go and also for people who want to be close to nature as well as tons of amenities as well. Welcome to West Oak Trails. This is Oakville's most family-centric neighborhood, especially for active families, because this area that I'm in right now, I'm surrounded by hills and green space. There are a lot of interconnected trails in this neighborhood that run past parks and through some of the wooded forests, and so lots to do outdoors. And then in terms of housing, most of the homes here are detached with two stories and three or four bedrooms. There are a few bungalows, some semis and uh, townhouses as well, but mostly single family. Now the average price of a two-story home with three to four bedrooms in this neighborhood is about $1.7 million. 
Now, this home behind me is your typical kind of home that you can find in this neighborhood. It's currently listed for $1.699 million. It has three plus one bedrooms and four baths. And just FYI, whenever you see a home that's listed as having, you know, plus one bedrooms, plus two bedrooms, they're likely referring to either a den or a room in the basement because in order to officially call a room a bedroom, it's got to have a closet and a window large enough to escape from in case there is a fire. So those are the rules about what constitute a bedroom. But come with me to the next neighborhood on our top five list because if you are into the outdoors, whether you're a family, single or a couple, this is the place to really take in the most beautiful part of Oakville, which is its waterfront. So hop in my car and let me take you to the shores of Lake Ontario to the second area on our top five list, which is the neighborhood of Bronte. So here I am driving through one of Oakville's waterfront neighborhoods. This area, Bronte, has a village called Bronte Village, and Bronte Village is known for its harbor. The harbor fronts is probably, honestly, one of Oakville's biggest selling features, or definitely one of its biggest, most beautiful attractions, to say the least. There's tons to do here. They've got, you know, the waterfront park that has a nice new and big playground for kids, where they also host a bunch of um, family-friendly events throughout the year. There's a beach here that you can go to. It is a smaller beach, but very lively because you're surrounded by all this activity with the marina and all the boats on the water. Um, there's even a public boat launch as well. And then all throughout is the boardwalk where people are walking, biking, you know, just strolling along the water. You can go down the pier, visit the lighthouse. Bronte is basically a great place to move to if you want to be part of the action, close to everything, and with a really nice waterfront setting. In terms of housing here, because you are along the water and this is one of the most happening parts of town, you're going to find a lot of higher end homes like luxury condos and estate homes. But there are also a good number of entry level townhouses, apartment rentals and even retirement homes. So a decent mix in terms of variety and affordability. This is an older area of Oakville, so you will see a lot of single family homes that are about 30 or 40 years old. So you'll see a lot of people doing massive renovations to their homes as well, like putting in a new kitchen, knocking down walls to make them more open concepts, you know, just tons of modern upgrades to match the feel and overall vibe of the area. But more recently, we're actually seeing a lot of infills where investors are tearing down homes completely, basically, and just building new construction homes on that same lot. So this property behind me is an example of a potential infill. If you are looking for an investment opportunity, it is marketed as being ready for demolition. So you can see it's got like, it's fenced off already. It has site plans and a survey completed already. So if you did want to design a new home to cover the lot that this home currently sits on, then this would be a great fit for you. It's currently listed at $1.799 million. So, so far I've been showing you homes at the upper million dollar mark and I do want to show you homes closer to a starter budget, say 1.1, 1.2, but before that I am driving through the number three neighborhood on our top five list, which is Glen Abbey. And I do want to cover this area real quick because it's actually quite famous. When most people think of Glen Abbey, they think golf. But if you aren't familiar with the golf scene, Glen Abbey is basically one of the most famous golf courses in all of Canada. 
The Glen Abbey Golf Course right here in Oakville has hosted over 28 Canadian golf championships. So tons of competitive, high-ranking golf enthusiasts have called this area home just to be closer to the course. And the community is also home to the Canadian Golf Hall of Fame. And it's also been recognized as the first golf course community in the greater Toronto area. So very cool area in terms of housing. Many of the homes will give you a front row seat to the links. Your front or back door will likely face the golf course. And you know, the street names here are very fun too. They're all golf themed. There are roads here called Golf View, Masters Green. And so there is a strong sense of golf community here, if that makes sense. All right, I'm done saying the word golf. <laughs> Welcome to the Lynx. That is actually the name of this street that I'm on here in Glen Abbey. Many of the homes here in this neighborhood you'll notice are quite large typically about 2,500 square feet or so. The houses closest to the golf course are the biggest ones, easily over 3,000 square feet, easily. They've got a traditional style to the homes. Most are two stories with four bedrooms, double car garages and generous size lots. But then as you move further away from the course, they do get more modest in size. Now, this home behind me here is currently for sale and does back on to not the golf course itself, but a parquet, so you don't have any rear neighbors. It is listed for $2.799 million. You are part of an exclusive enclave of homes. Um, the property has an in-ground heated pool and tall hedges around the backyard, so to give you even more privacy. So overall, this is a more established community. You are surrounded by mature trees, parks and trails, great schools. Neighbors here, they're going to be a good mix of young and older families. And again, this is another great area for people who enjoy living an active lifestyle. to an area with a more starter budget. The average price of a home in this next neighborhood on our top five list, which is River Oaks, if you're looking at all home types, so apartments, towns, semi-detached homes, um, this is one of the most affordable areas of Oakville where the average price of a home here is $1.15 million. So relatively low compared to most other neighborhoods in Oakville. And if you are looking for a more urban feel too, then River Oaks is a place to be because here you have everything you need at your fingertips. There are plenty of amenities like the River Oaks Community Center, which is right in the middle of the neighborhood. It has a gym, um, squash and basketball courts, fitness studios, a running track, and of course a whole bunch of programs for the whole family. And now the homes in this area, you'll notice that many of them have a front porch or a balcony that look onto the streets. and. The streets themselves, they are very pedestrian friendly. They've got bike lanes, sidewalks, and a good variety of homes to choose from too, to accommodate a range of different budgets. If you are looking for more maintenance-free living, then the condos and townhouses at the Oak Park Urban Village section of River Oaks, those would be ideal for you. Welcome to River Oaks. 
This neighborhood has a somewhat urban feel to it because you'll notice that the homes are fairly close together. So it is a more densely populated community. But what's really fun about the homes here is that if you take a look up behind me in this complex and others in the area, but the homes have their garages in the back instead of what you'll typically see in Oakville, most of the garages are in the front, but it's nice because it gives you a more clean look to the streets and it's easier to drive through the inner roads and you know, just a more pleasant bill type of feel to them. You can grab a unit here, just like this townhouse here. Uh, one of them is currently on the market for $999,000. It's three plus one bedrooms. The plus one in this case specifically is a den and it's about 2000 square feet of living space. So great opportunity if you have a smaller budget but still want to get your foot in the door in Oakville. And this is the unit that I'm talking about right behind me here. biggest appeal to this area personally is its location. You're only five minutes drive to the lake, close to major highways, the Oakville GO station where you can take the train or bus to Toronto, um, tons of amenities nearby. They recently actually opened the Queen Elizabeth Park Community Centre for example which has a large indoor pool, um, studios for art and music. There's also the Bronte Tennis Club nearby where you, where you can join a league or take lessons. Um, and then the South Oakville Center downtown, it's not too far either. It's uh, one of uh, Oakville's outdoor shopping malls. So it's not as big as Oakville Place, which is the town's biggest mall, but that one isn't too far from here either. Probably just about a 10 minute drive from here. This is West Oakville. Most of the homes here were built between the 40s and early 60s, which is why you'll see a lot of these post-war split-level bungalows here. That was a typical style back then. So you can see that the homes too, they are generally on a good size lot. So this one here, for example, behind me is on a 60 foot frontage and it's equally deep as well. It's about 130 feet from the front to the back. It recently sold at that average price mark that I mentioned on the drive-by, $1.149 million. And so great starter home, ample yard space. You can see and tons of space for parking as well. You can see you can probably fit about four or five cars on that driveway. They've got two there right now. But plus you've got an additional detached garage, which is cool if you wanted to convert it into a home gym or a separate working space. You know, a lot of people are working from home these days. Just stick a heater in there and uh, in the cooler months for more privacy or use a space for extra storage. There's plenty of room inside and outside to basically make this space however you want. But so there you have it. Oakville is a hustling and bustling suburb of Toronto, right on the shores of Lake Ontario with plenty of great neighborhoods to choose from. And so if you're thinking of moving to Oakville and give me a shout, I would love to hear from you. I'll show you around, help you get a better feel for the area, get a best price for your next home. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give me a shout. I would love to help you out. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or schedule a Zoom call with me all down in the description below. I would love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Toronto or anywhere in the greater Toronto area to places like right here in Oakville. But until then, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn more about some of the best places across the GTA that people are moving to. And also check out this video, which rhymes off all the pros and cons of actually living in Oakville. I go into the good, the bad and the ugly on this one. So it's definitely something that you want to check out before you even consider moving to the area. 
So, but thanks for every, thanks for watching everyone. I hope to see you around town. Until the next time, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Stay safe.